yet another video and in this video i would be taking up the problem uh, known as sub array sum equals k its problem identity is 560 as it's on lead code and it has pretty much likes around 4.5k likes so let's jump into the problem so the problem says given an array of integers and an integer k you need to find the total number of continuous sub arrays whose sum equals to k so i'll be given an integer array right and i will be given a number k correct so i have to find how many such continuous segments of array exist such that the sum of these segments is 2 so for example <coughs> if i consider this example in the uh, given input right so yeah so let's say like, take this example so here my k is 2 and my array is 1 1 1 so how many continuous segment of the array how many continuous sub arrays do i have so that their sum is 1 so th this is one segment this is a continuous sub array that's 1 plus 1 it's equal to 2 this is another continuous sub array that's 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 so there are two segments right whose sum uh, whose sum is equal to 2 so that's why the output is 2 so let's assume this is the uh, array and this is the index if this is the array and my given sum is k equals to 2 so there are how many continuous segments whose sum is equal to 2 so i can see that this is one continuous segment right whose sum is equal to 2 i have another continuous segment starting from here whose sum is equal to 2 and all these individual elements they are also having sum is equal to 2 so there are basically five continuous segments whose sum is equal to 2 one ranging from 0 to 1 correct another ranging from 1 to 2 another ranging from only 3 to 3 another is 4 to 4 another is 5 to 5 so the answer for this particular example would be 5 so how do we get that how do we get that to 5 so the the main difficulty which uh, which which is there in the question which makes it a hard question is you need to consider every sub array starting from every index so if there is a sub array starting from this index 1 you go to the next element you see that it's 2 so you say that it's yes it's a uh, it's a sub array now you increase the count by 1 then you go to the next element you see that it's 3 so it's not equal to 2 it's it cannot be a sub array had there be a minus 1 here in in place of minus 2 had there be a minus 1 then again uh, you know considering these cases this would again be a sub array right of uh, value 2 so for every case you have to every index starting from every index i you have to see how many sub arrays are there so that would take a complexity of o of n square right so this is where the problem is challenging so how to tackle the case for tackling this case there is a very niche concept that i want you to uh, understand let's say the sum of my array okay so let's say uh, let me decrease the font a little let's say my sum of the array from index 0 to index 4 both are including right is equal to how much is equal to 3 plus 2 plus 2 correct so that's equal to 4 plus 3 that's 7 so let's say that equal to 7 right and another thing let's say uh, my sub array sum of an index starting from uh, extremely sorry yeah so let's say another sum starting from the index 1 to 2 right so this particular index so basically what i'll have is another sub array a whose uh, index starts from 0 to 2 right so the sum is what the sum is 3 correct okay so now if i ask you a question what is the sub array what is the sum of the sub array that starts from 3 and ends at 4 what is the sum of the sub array which starts from 3 and ends at 4 so if this is the question so what i am looking is at this particular sub array correct 
okay now that's equal to 4 right so if you see can i represent a of 3 comma 4 right so what i'm interested is in a of 3 comma 4 right so can i say a of 3 comma 4 is nothing but equal to the total array sum up till 0 to 4 minus the total array sum up till 0 to 2 so what i am telling specifically the total array sum up till 0 to 4 is nothing but 7 right so up till 0 to 4 right minus a of 0 to 7 right so uh, extremely sorry not 0 to 7 that would be 0 to 2 does this make sense to you does this make sense to you so what I, I am saying to you right now is the sum of all the array elements from the index 0 to the index 4 if it is x right and the sum of all array elements from index 0 to index 2 is y then the sum of the array elements of index 3 to 4 would be x minus y correct so because if we want to see the sum of first 3 uh, natural numbers that is how much that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 that is 6 the sum of first 5 natural numbers that is how much that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 correct so that is basically 9 plus uh, 6 so that is basically 15 right so one is 6 another is 15 now if I tell you that what is the sum of the natural number which starts at 3 and ends at 5 so you have uh, which starts at 4 and ends at 5 right so if I ask you this question so you have 1 to 5 sum you have 1 to 3 sum what you need to do is you need to divide you need to subtract the sum of 1 to 5 from uh, you have to subtract the sum of 1 to 3 from the sum 1 to 5 that is it so that would be basically 15 minus 6 that is nothing but 9 right so this concept is pretty easy right it is quite easy to grasp but it is it's, it's difficult to digest you know it is difficult to uh, understand or rather difficult to apply it in the contests or uh, any uh, problems as such so this is known as prefix sum this uh, array or uh, this technique is known as prefix sum technique so what i'll do is now i'll generalize the formula right so i need to find the sub array or sum a i comma j for every uh, every sub array that starts from i and ends at j right so basically what i i want to tell is so any sub array so let us change the color so that it is legible so any sub array starting at i and ending at j the sum of any sub array starting at i and ending at j correct so let us say i have a sub array that starts from i that starts from let us say 1 and ends at 2 what is the sum of the sub array that starts from 1 and ends at 2 that would be nothing but equal to this to the difference of the sum that of the sub array that starts from 0 to 2 and that ends at 0 only so what i mean to say is 1 to 2 is what i am looking for is this much right so what i am looking for is basically 2 because the sub array sum starting at 1 and ending at 2 is 2 how do I get to that 2? I take the cumulative sum from 0 to 2 and I get a 3 and I uh, subtract the sum at the index 0 that is nothing but 1 and hence I get 3 minus 1 that is equal to 2 right. So for any i comma j if this is clear for any a of i comma j I can tell that the sub array sum of a of i comma j would be nothing but a of i uh, or rather I should say 0 to j maybe or uh, is it what uh, let us let us figure out right. So from 3 to 4 uh, it was from uh, 1 to 2 it was uh, 0 to 2 right so it is 0 to j right 
minus it would be nothing but a of 0 to i yeah this is the whole formula like it's not a formula it's quite derivable it's not something uh, that you need to that you will grasp only if you are good at mathematics it's just common sense that uh, every sub array sum of starting from i to j would have the value of uh, the sub array sum that starts from 0 and extends till j minus the sub array sum that starts from 0 and extends till i right or is it i minus 1 I hope it's I will generalize it later, right? So let's say a, let's say a of three comma four is nothing but four, right? So a of three comma four would be a of zero to four. That's basically uh, four, five, six, seven. That's seven minus uh, a of zero to uh, three. So yeah, this would be a of zero to i minus one, right? So one thing that I uh, did a mistake here. This would be a of 0 to i minus 1 right so basically a of 0 to i minus 1 this is what we are looking at ok right I hope it's the idea is clear so now the next step is so I know how to get the uh, a of i comma j at every index and also if you guess I can have you know I will need to have this array a of 0 comma j or a of 0 comma i minus 1 so basically I need to have an array which stores the sum from a of 0 to i where i ranges from 0 to n minus 1 index correct so basically that would known as the prefix sum this is known as this prefix sum array so let's say I have an uh, A of array I'll basically need to construct an uh, 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 array right a temporary array or a uh, helper array which will be which will we call as the prefix array okay we'll call it as the prefix array where it will store all the continuous sum so that's all the continuous sum so that's uh, basically it will store one then it will store two then it will store three then it will store 5 right so I am no doing nothing but going out and storing the continuous sum 7 right so it will store 1 then 1 plus 2 that's uh, 1 plus 1 that's 2 plus 1 that's 3 plus 2 that's 5 that plus 2 that's 7 so now for any of uh, you know a value i comma j I can easily get this and I can get this right now this question is how can I get a sub array sum whose uh, you know whose cumulative sum is 2 so let's say I start from here okay I start scanning from here at my 0th index okay so I see that it's 1 great so I have encountered a sub array with sum 1 so the next time I encountered a sub array with sum 1 again I can tell that you know since I have encountered a sub array sum earlier this time I have also encountered so that would be, be equal to basically be equal to 2 so if the idea is not clear don't worry I am just clearing it out uh, while I go through so the first thing is if I don't take any uh, array right so to use this uh, technique I have to have a sum of 0 so 0 is when I don't take a I don't take any uh, array value right now the first array value I ponder upon is 1 so is uh, I need to have a value of 2 correct but I have a value of 1 so a of any a of uh, you know 0 comma j whatever I ponder upon is it has a value of 1 but for this to be 2 correct I have to have a value of a of 0 comma j which is greater than 2 so what I mean is I have to have a sub array of sub array whose sum is x such that x is greater than 2 or equal to 2 such that when I subtract some value so I will if I have this value right over here which is greater than or equal to 2 then when I subtract some value from it I should get a value of 2 in my answer because that is the uh, exact uh, you know the sum of the sub array that we have so it is it's, I know it is quite confusing to understand the topic but just move along 
I think you would grasp it. So let's say I am here, okay? So let's say I am here. When I am here, so what sum do I have in my hand? What sum do I have in my hand? I have 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, correct? So that's basically 5. The sum that I have in my hand is 5. But what sum do I need? I need a sum of 2. So this subarray which starts at 0 and ends at 3 have a sum of 5. Now, can I have a sum, a subarray within these ranges with a sum of 2? So for this, I need to subtract 3 to get a 2. So if I have this, so let me remove everything so that I can clear everything to you, right? So, so this is uh, basically, let me change the color, yeah, so this is basically 5, right? This is basically 5. I have a subarray with some 5. Now, I need to check whether previously I have encountered a subarray with some 3 or not and starting from 0. So, if I encountered, so what I will do is I will just subtract both the subarrays and uh, I will have my, I uh, will see whether it is equal to 2 or not. So, what I am looking for is specifically do I have a continuous segment starting from 0 and have a value of 3. So, this is the continuous segment starting from 0 and have a value of 3. So, I am at 5 and I had previously encountered a subarray starting at 0 and have a value of 3. So, what I will do is I will consider the subarray which is the uh, which is the negation of both of them. So, basically which is which is uh, let us say this much. Right. So, I will have this subarray as my answer. Why? Because from 0 to 3 it was 5, from 0 to 2 it was 3. So, that means that the, the index, the, the subarray that starts from index 3 has a sum of 3, uh, has a sum of 2. That is why it happened na, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So, this is the approach. Right. I think it's it's it may be a little unclear please comment down below if it's a little unclear i would try to explain it maybe uh, in some uh, subsequent videos so what i'll do is uh, let's get into the coding i'll have a map correct okay another thing is it's very important to note that how many such subarrays i had which have a sum of uh, 3 uh, right so let's say i had another let us say I am looking for a sum of 3, right? I am looking for a sum of 2, right? So, if I am looking for a sum of 2, when I am at here, I would say that I have 1 in my hand. So, can I subtract anything from 1 to get 2? No. So, yeah, like I can, but since it is a positive integer, here I cannot. So, I will go to here. So, I have a value of 2. So can I subtract anything from 2 to have a value of 2? Yes, I can subtract 0. So, I will have to set a 0 element separately. So, that this is one subarray, right? Now, I get to here. So, this is basically 3. Now, the question is, can I subtract some element from the value 3 to get 2? That is 1. So, I need to have a subarray with some 1 that I have previously encountered. And guess what that subarray was? This was this particular subarray that we encountered at the very first time, right? So, this is how the approach works. So, I need to see how many such subarrays are there. If there are two subarrays, so there would be two combinations. So, let us so have a map with uh, basically with we will have the int of int that will store the uh, the value of the sum and the, the number of occurrences, right. So, I will have a sum. So, this would be the cumulative sum, right. This is nothing but the cumulative sum. So, what I will do is, uh, I will say that I have a sum of 0, I have a sum of 0, that is basically when I have no elements, I have uh, empty array or I do not take any element, then I have a sum of 0, right. So, for every int i equals 0, so every i starting from 0 to num start uh, size, right, I need to calculate the cumulative sum. 
So cumulative sum would be sum equals the previous sum plus current element that is nums of i right. So this is the cumulative sum I will push the cumulative sum into my map right but before that I will see whether I have an element so the required what is the required element that I need to minus from the cumulative sum the required element is nothing but k minus the current cumulative sum so right because uh, no that is not this the cum current cumulative sum would be nothing but let us say I have a sum of s and uh, uh, I have I have to have a sum of k right so what I will do is I need to have so for this particular uh, sub array I need to have you know since it is 5 so I need to have the sum minus k so this is the I am I am looking for so I need to have the sum minus k so if it is present so if the uh, you know map dot find so basically if it is present so map dot find of required if it is not equals to uh, map dot n so it is present so I will do so what I will have I will have a count that I will basically count the number of sub arrays so I will do count equals to the previous count plus what are the number of sub arrays with such a sum so what is the sum that is required right and at last what I will do is um, I will do m of uh, the, uh, the sum current sum I will do a plus plus so in the map right this is this is what happens in the map so I think that is pretty much to it so I will return the count let us see um, yeah for this example it works so let us go ahead and submit and it pretty much works yeah perfect so yeah that was all you can also use other data structures i have used a map you can use an, uh, an ordered map or uh, to make it a little faster or any data structure hash table anything of your choice so that's all and uh, thank you